Today I am doing Pig Latin on Free Code Camp. This is part of the intermediate algorithm scripting. Um, so we can see here Pig Latin is basically a way of altering English words and the rules are as follows. If a word begins with a consonant, take the first consonant or consonant cluster, move it to the end of the word and add a y to it. Um, so just as an example, uh, California here would be returned as California, California K. Um, so the C is taken from the start of the word, um, moved all the way to the end, and then they, then we add a Y to it. Um, if a word begins with a vowel, just add way at the end. So an example of that would be yeah, algorithm way, um, because it starts with a, a vowel here. Um, we just add way to the end, whereas the California example, um, we take off the C um, up to that first point of the first vowel it finds, put it to the end and then add a Y. So that's what we're doing here. So yeah, translate the provider string to Pig Latin. Input strings are guaranteed to be English words and in all lowercase. Um, so we don't have to worry about casing or anything like that. Um, it's just basically manipulating the strings here. So. Um, what we can see is we're just returning the string at the moment. So if I put a console.log around this all, it'll be a bit easier to see everything. So we can see we're just returning consonant. <clears throat> so I'm going to take out the return here and I'm going to start sort of, I guess, going through the solution which I've come up with. Um, it uses a little bit of regex, but not too much um, like some of the previous sort of algorithms. Um, and then some simple sort of for loop and just checking. So um, we'll do what we want to do is obviously check, I guess actually get a collection of the vowels. So we'll do let vowel let vowels equal str dot um, I think it's match, and then we want to match based on some regex, which is like this. And if we type in a e i o u just here and I think if we we need the global flag as well just to pick up all of the instances um, of the vowels and let me just check this vowels <clears throat> there we go so we can see we've got we're capturing all of the vowels um, in the word um, I believe I think that's right or is it maybe yeah, up to that point. So yeah, that will be fine for now. Um, so from there, we then want to, and that's actually the only regex. So it's just the match and we're, this is sort of how you do regex. Um, there's a lot of good online sites. Obviously, I know there's a course on FreeCodeCamp, I think have a whole section on it. So definitely recommend checking that out before um, if you sort of are unaware with this. But basically it's searching for any of these characters in the word and returning them. Um, and obviously we're, we're setting that to a variable called vowels. As you can see here, it's actually an array of individual strings here. Um, so we can find um, obviously the index or, you know, the, the first place of that. So we'll let first index of the vowel equal, um, let's see, so, um, so str.index of, and if I put vowels, does that then, let's, I'm just trying to remember, uh, it's index of with a capital O. And now if we return index of, I believe that will return, um, return zero, or well, one, sorry, one, because it's the O here, up first index. Let's just see, so it's minus one, so it's not finding any of these, maybe it's the global flag, which you don't need that, yeah. Sorry, so it's not the global flag, what we're actually trying to find is the first vowel. Um, so I'm gonna put vowel here and take away this. And now what we're doing is going through the whole string and we're basically finding at what position that in, that vowel is found. Um, so in this instance here, consonant, it's position one. So it goes zero for C, and one for O, um, and two for N. If I take this out, we should then get three, which is right. So it's one, zero, one, two, and there's the O on, in position three. Um, so that's the, the place where obviously we want to, if you remember, take away um, sort of the, the first three characters, move them to the end, and then we add a Y to it. Um, so let me just pop the 
O back in. And at this point, we so we've got the, the index. We basically just want to now do a, um, I think we'll just do some checks actually. So it will be um, if the first index is greater than zero. Um, so obviously if it's not at the start, because we'll, we'll handle that differently. Um, we want to uh, return string and I'm just going to mutate the original string here um, and not, not sort of create a, um, a new return string just for simplicity but we'll do a string and then we basically want to do string dot sorry string dot uh, slice at position zero um, plus string dot slice at position zero and then to first index um, <clears throat> Sorry, no, it is it would be first index onwards. So that would be one onwards and just down here I'm actually gonna return return just a string so we can see that come out. So we can see here what we've done is we've sliced it at the first index, we've taken off the C and 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 then basically this part is actually we've then because we've already mutated string, we're going from zero to the end and, and placing that, that that back basically um, at the end. And then all we want to do is add, was it way or no, a y. Um, so you can see here, consonant c a y. Um, so that I believe would solve, let's see, this example of California. So let's pop that in and we can see if we're getting California k, which we are, so that's great. Um, but it doesn't cover all the cases as we'll see here. So we also then need an else if, and this one would be if first index uh, is just equal to null, um, or there, there basically isn't a first index, um, in which case it would be string equals str um, plus, I think it was way. Yeah, so if the word begins with a vowel, um, so if I just put Let's just do A here. Um, it should add, let's see. Oh, sorry, if vowel, if there is no vowel found, that's when we add way to the end. Um, so just add way to the end, str plus way. And then else, I'm not sure why that's not finding it. Oh, sorry, because it obviously does have a vowel at some point um, if the word begins with a vowel but let's just do this so str would equal str plus and then it would be a y I think and maybe I've got these two mixed up I'm just going to check my notes because I remember sort of having to look at this um, just now yeah so if vowel is equal to null we actually want to add a y sorry and then it's way down here <clears throat> So, um, California way, um, let's just see, Mix of dot AY. so I think that was correct, or I thought it was anyway, uh, oh, okay, there we are, so that actually does, can I click this, oh, of course, because I've changed the, the input string, um, <laughs> sorry about that, so if I put this back to California, there we go, we can see we are actually doing it correctly. So, um, sorry for the confusion, I guess I'll just go through this once more just so it's super clear. Um, but basically we're getting the the first vowel, um, or the, you know, where that is on the string. Um, so as you can see here, let's say this is A, um, we're, we're storing in this vowel um, variable here. So if I just console.log vowel, I guess it's first vowel, we should be able to see A, which we can see here. And then we want to do the index of string. So where does A, how sort of far in is A? And that's position one. So if I do first indexed, index, that'd be position one, which we can see here. And then because first index is greater than zero, we're basically running this string here. So we're we're taking the string dot slice, and we're taking off that that uh, the first index, <clears throat> um, so up until the point of A, so we're taking off the C. Um, and as I said, if there were more characters here, so if I just put a couple of Cs, 
um, we can see that we, we splice or slice it at the, that point here when, where the cursor is, move that to the end, um, which is this part. So we're doing that and then we just add a Y at the end. And that's what, um, where it obviously does find a, a vowel later on in the string. Um, if I take out all the vowels now, like so, <clears throat> um, all we want to do is return that, um, yeah, with a Y at the end. Um, so that's this one here. So if vowel is equal to null, I guess we could also do if vowel dot, you know, string dot index or vowel is equal to minus one, which means it's not found. Um, <clears throat> that would also do this. Maybe that's a bit clearer, um, but I'll, ju I'll just leave it for now. Um, and then else, we basically just want to, if the word begins with a vowel, add way to the end of it. Um, so this covers that, that case basically where let's say there is a an A or something at the start, another vowel, it just returns the string with a way at the end. Um, but yeah, that's my solution um, to this problem here. Um, I think it's sort of relatively easy to run through. It see a little bit difficult with the regex perhaps, um, and I'm sure there's many solutions to this problem, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you have a, a sort of a simpler solution or even better than this. Um, I'd be happy to see it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.